Tamsulosin is an alpha-1A and alpha-1B adrenergic receptor antagonist used to treat benign prostatic hyperplasia, ureteral stones, prostatitis, and female voiding dysfunction. In this video, let's find found. What is Tamsulosin? What is Tamsulosin used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking Tamsulosin? How does Tamsulosin work? How to use Tamsulosin? What is Tamsulosin? Tamsulosin, sold under the brand name Flomax among others, is a medication used to treat symptomatic benign prostatic hyperplasia and chronic prostatitis and to help with the passage of kidney stones. The evidence for benefit with a kidney stone is better when the stone is larger. It can by mouth. Tamsulosin is an alpha blocker and works by relaxing muscles in the prostate. Tamsulosin was approved for medical use in the United States in 1997. It is available as a generic medication. In 2020, it was the 24th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 24 million prescriptions. What is Tamsulosin? Tamsulosin, sold under the brand name Flomax among others, is a medication used to treat symptomatic benign prostatic hyperplasia and chronic prostatitis and to help with the passage of kidney stones. The evidence for benefit with a kidney stone is better when the stone is larger. It can by mouth. Tamsulosin is an alpha blocker and works by relaxing muscles in the prostate. Tamsulosin was approved for medical use in the United States in 1997. It is available as a generic medication. In 2020, it was the 24th most commonly prescribed patient in the United States, with more than 24 million prescriptions. What is Tamsulosin used for? Tamsulosin is indicated for the treatment of signs and symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia. Tamsulosin is also used off-label for the treatment of ureteral stones, prostatitis, and female voiding dysfunction. Side effects. Common side effects include dizziness, headache, sleeplessness, nausea, blurry vision, and sexual problems. Other side effects may include feeling lightheaded with standing and angioedema. Pharmacodynamic. Tamsulosin is an alpha adrenoceptor blocker with specificity for the alpha 1A and alpha 1D subtypes, which are more common in the prostate and submaxillary tissue. The final subtype, alpha-1b, are most common in the aorta and spleen. Tamsulosin binds to alpha-1a receptors March 9, 38 times more selectively than alpha-1b and 3 to 20 times more selectively than alpha-1d. This selectivity allows for a significant effect on urinary flow with a reduced incidence of adverse reactions like orthostatic hypotension. Mechanism of Action Tamsulosin is a blocker of alpha-1A and alpha-1D adrenoceptors. About 70% of the alpha-1 adrenoceptors in the prostate are of the alpha-1A subtype. By blocking these adrenoceptors, smooth muscle in the prostate is relaxed and urinary flow is improved. The blocking of alpha-1D adrenoceptors relaxes the detrusor muscles of the bladder, which prevents storage symptoms. The specificity of tamsulosin focuses the effects on the target area while minimizing effects in other areas. Half-life The half-life in fasted patients is 14.9 plus or minus 3.9 hours. The elimination half-life is 5 to 7 hours and the apparent half-life is 9 to 13 hours in healthy subjects. In patients who require tamsulosin, the apparent half-life is 14 to 15 hours. Dose Benign prostatic hypertrophy Indicated for treatment of signs and symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. 0.4 mg POQ day, take 30 minutes after same meal each day. If inadequate response after 2 to 4 weeks, may increase to 0.8 mg Q day. If therapy interrupted or discontinued for several days, resume at 0.4 mg per day and increase if needed. Bladder outlet obstruction, off-label. Relief of symptoms. 0.4 mg POQ day. 
Ureteral stones, off-label. Facilitation of kidney stone expulsion. 0.4 mg POQ day. Discontinued after successful expulsion. Average, 1 to 2 weeks. Safety advice. The FDA currently defines tamsulosin as a category B medication for pregnant patients. Uneed male reproduction studies have failed to demonstrate risk to the fetus and there are no adequate, well-controlled studies in pregnant women. Safety advice. The FDA currently defines tamsulosin as a category B medication for pregnant patients. Uneed male reproduction studies have failed to demonstrate risk to the fetus and there are no adequate, well-controlled studies in pregnant women.